What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Madden Ballers YouTube channel and our Detroit Lions franchise. Last time we saw the Lions, they were closing out the regular season on the road against Minnesota in a snowy game that they won 27-14. This week, the Lions take on the Vikings once again for the third time this season. But it's wild card weekend and the Lions are looking to advance to the divisional round. They play at home here. It's the Minnesota Vikings versus the Detroit Lions. And you have San Francisco and Atlanta in the other wild card round in the NFC. Matthew Stafford going up against Kellen Clemens and the Vikings. Can the Lions get to the divisional round? We're going to find out next. The Lions will receive to get this game underway. Eric Ebron, the starting tight end for the Lions, will not start in this game. He will be the third string tight end because of that mild ankle strain. Matthew Stafford and the Detroit Lions come out now on offense. 27 touchdowns, 6 interceptions, and over 4,300 passing yards in the regular season for Stafford. And on first and 10, he's going to hand it off to Joyke Bell. And he's not going to be able to find any running room. He loses a yard. And the Lions' offensive plan here today is to hold on to the ball and try to run the ball to keep the time possession as Bell picks up a first down there. Third and four for Detroit. Stafford going to work from the shotgun here. He's going to dump it off over the middle to Bell. And he's past midfield into Vikings territory at the 45. First and 10, Stafford will look to pass here. He's going to fire to the sideline, and it's caught by Golden Tate falling to the ground at the Vikings 29. Second down and eight now for Detroit. Stafford will drop back here, and lots of time to throw, and he finds Megatron down to the 16. It's another first down for Detroit. Stafford under center now will hand off to Bell up the middle, not finding much running room, a gain of three. Second down and eight now for Detroit. Stafford back to pass, and Calvin Johnson on the slant route will get the touchdown. 13 yards, and Detroit strikes first on 11 play, 87 yard drive in six minutes and 19 seconds, keeping that ball for a long time. Kellen Clemens and the Minnesota Vikings offense comes out now. And I did find Teddy Bridgewater. He is on the roster for the Vikings, but not on the depth chart. I'm not sure what was going on there. As they hand the ball off to AP up the middle, he will go for a medium gain. Third and five now for the Vikings. Clemens looking to pass for it. He's going to dump it off to Kyle Rudolph. And Rudolph taken down by a nice open field tackle by Stephen Tulloch. And the Vikings have to punt. The Lions take back over here. Stafford third and eight will find Megatron for the first down. Again, a 14 from their own 41 now. Stafford will hand it off to Bell. Trying to get outside here. He does. Bell with his longest gain of the day. A gain of eight. Second down and two now. And Forrest Hansen's in the game. It's a delayed handoff to him. And Hansen will pick up the first down. Gain of three. First and 10 now in Vikings territory. Stafford, play action, looking, lots of time here, but he's going to be hit, and the ball falls incomplete. Third down and four now for Detroit, and Stafford will play action once again. Roll out and fire for Joseph Fourier. He's got the first down catch, and we're at the end of one here in Detroit. The Lions on top, 7 to nothing. Third and six as we open up the second quarter for the Lions here. And a quick pass, Stafford to Johnson. He's got the catch and the first down up to the 17-yard line. Calvin, four receptions, 48 yards on the day. First and 10, it's a pitch out to Forrest Hansen. Hansen not going very far. It's only a gain of one. And the Lions having a hard time running the ball today, which was their main plan of attack here. And Stafford going to the end zone. Golden Tate with a touchdown on third and six. He had position on the receiver as you look at the replay. And he comes down with that catch. And the Lions are up 14 to nothing. Stafford, two touchdowns and 125 yards passing on the day so far. And the Vikings take over, handing it off to Adrian Peterson. 
He is going to go for a gain of eight. It'll be second down and two. Hand off to AP once again, and AP's got the first down, a gain of seven up the middle. He's got three carries for 20 yards. Second down and four now, and it's another handoff to Adrian Peterson, and he's going to make his way to midfield here. A gain of eight in Lions territory now. From the 45, it's second and four. Clemens, lots of time, fires deep, caught by Cordero Patterson, and he's down to the 29-yard line. First and 10 from there. Clemens back to pass here, and he finds no one open. He's down, sacked by Ezekiel Lanza. It'll be third and 19 now for the Vikings from the 38 of Detroit. Clemens scrambling, firing off his back foot and knocked down by Mr. O'Raymond. And the Lions force a punt after the Vikings were in field goal range. They take over now. Second and seven pitch out to LaMichael James going nowhere. It's going to lose three yards. Third and ten from their own 20. Stafford empty backfield set. Sets, fires deep, wide open. Sherrod, he breaks a tackle, he's inside the 10. Will he get there? He does. Touchdown, Detroit. The flag is on Minnesota, and we'll look at the replay here. Wide open, Ernest Sherrod, and he breaks that tackle to get the touchdown. 80 yards, and Detroit is on fire. Three plays, 80 yards in just over a minute and a 21 to nothing lead over the Vikings and we're only in the second quarter. Minnesota takes over and Clemens pass falls incomplete as he was hit as he threw. Second down and 10 now for the Vikings. Clemens looking to pass again. Again having a hard time finding anybody and right there again is Raymond for the deflection. Third and 10 for Clemens and the Vikings. Looking to pass, fires. Caught by Peterson, but out of bounds, short of the marker, and they have to punt the ball once again. Detroit takes over, and it's a handoff to Forrest Hansen on second and six, and that's going to get the first down and get him into Vikings territory at the 43. Two minutes to go in the half, and a quick pass to Golden Tate. No good as he's falling, stumbling to the ground, and he does not make that catch. Third and seven, and Stafford's going to go back to Tate. This time he makes the catch for the first down up at the Minnesota 28. Stafford 13 for 16, 220, and three touchdowns on the day. Second and six now for Detroit, and it's a handoff to Joyke Bell. He is going nowhere, a gain of one. It'll be third and five for the Lions. Stafford working from the pistol. Will roll out to his left, fire caught by Johnson. He breaks a tackle and tiptoes the line into the end zone for the touchdown. Megatron with his second touchdown catch of the day and another long eight play, 61 yard drive for the Lions. Puts them up 28 to nothing heading into halftime. The Minnesota Vikings open the second half with the ball, but down by four touchdowns. It's a handoff to Adrian Peterson up the middle. He will go for 14 and a first down. And we'll look at the halftime stats here. An almost perfect first half by Detroit. Four possessions, four touchdowns, all by Stafford passing it. And they lead every offensive category and only giving up about 57 yards of offense as Adrian Peterson goes for eight on that carry. Second down and two, and it's another handoff to Adrian Peterson. He breaks a tackle, and he's got the first down. Not sure why they didn't go to him more in the first half. Only six carries in that first half, and he's already got three here so far in this drive as this pass out to Peterson is caught. And it's going to be short of the first down, and the Vikings will have to punt. Detroit takes over. Hand off to Joyke Bell up the middle. He's going to go for seven, and we might see the Lions run the ball a lot more in the second half, even though they weren't very good at it here in the first half. Calvin Johnson with that first down catch will keep the drive alive. Third down and eight now for Detroit. It's a play action for Stafford. Going deep, caught by Megatron into Vikings territory up to the 40 yard line. Stafford closing in on 300 yards passing. 17 for 20. This has to be one of his best games of 
the season is a handoff to Forrest Hansen, Hansen on second and three. Gets the first down inside the 25. Later in the drive, it's first and 15. Stafford pump fakes, and that cost him. He goes down, sacked by Hodges. And that's going to set up a third and 21. Stafford back to pass here. He's going to fire outside, and it's caught by Megatron, but well out of bounds. And the Lions will set up for a 51-yard field goal attempt. The kick, it's a fake, and Manning rolling out will go down. No shot at that fake. And we're at the end of three. It remains Detroit 28, Minnesota 0. We enter the fourth and final quarter. Detroit up 28 to 0. Minnesota with the ball. And third and 11. This pass will sail out of play. Incomplete. And the Vikings will end up going for it. Fourth and 11. Clemens sacked. The Lions brought pressure. And Kyle Van Noy got the sack. And it's a turnover on downs. The Lions take over. Hand off to Bell. And he's going to gain five on that rush. 14 for 43 for Bell on the day. And it's third down and seven. Stafford looking to pass here. Fires caught by Johnson. But he's short of the first down. And the Lions will settle for a 40-yard field goal attempt. Nate Freeze's kick is up. And it is right down the middle. It has the distance. And the Lions take the 31 to nothing lead. The Vikings take over here from the shotgun. Clemens on second and 10 will fire. And it's caught by Kyle Rudolph out of bounds at the 37. Second down and nine now for the Vikings. Clemens back to pass here. He's going to throw this one up deep. And it's caught by a wide open Kyle Rudolph. The one bright spot in this Minnesota offense. They're down at the 24 of Detroit. First and 10. Clemens fires. Caught by Cordero Patterson. Just short of the marker, second down and one. And the handoff here is going to go to Oliver on the delay up the middle. He picks up the first down. It'll be first and goal, Minnesota from the nine. Oliver still in there at tailback. Handoff to him up the middle. He's going to gain four down to the five. It'll be second down and goal. Adrian Peterson back in at running back, and he gets the carry, and he is going to go nowhere. Stop for no gain on the play. It'll be third and goal. Clemens working from the shotgun, looking, and the pressure will get to him. We bought, brought the pressure again, and Devin Taylor with the sack will force the Vikings to fourth down, and they will decide to kick a field goal here. I don't know if that's a strategic move or if that's just to avoid the shutout. But they get it, and it's 31 to three. The Lions take over now, third and seven from their own 41. Stafford's pass going deep and caught by Megatron. Out of bounds at the Vikings, 43. Third down and one now for Detroit from the 34. Stafford's quick pass out to Sherrod is broken up, incomplete. And the Lions will settle for a 51-yard field goal attempt here with just under three to go in the game. The kick is up, and it is deep enough, and the Lions extend the lead to 34-3. to That would be enough for Detroit to take this one. They sweep the season series, even more than the season series. They take three games from the Vikings here. Final score today, Detroit 34, Vikings 3. In other words, you played well during the regular season, you win it. Perfect first half from this Detroit offense. Got them the big lead. Stafford 19 for 24, 294 and four touchdown passes. Joyke Bell, 20 carries, 73 yards. Forrest Hansen though, eight carries, 43 yards. Kelvin Johnson, 10 receptions, 121 yards and two touchdowns. Kyle Van Noy with six tackles on the day. And the Lions get the victory in the wild card round to move on to the division round against well, we'll find out soon. Russell Wilson, though, named your 2016 MVP. And the Lions move on to face the Philadelphia Eagles on the road. The one team or one of the two teams that beat us in the regular season in week one. The Eagles came away with a 21-16 comeback victory in the fourth quarter. The big player in that game, LaShawn McCoy. 
broke out for 21 carries, 151 yards, and three touchdowns. Can we bottle him up in this divisional round game? Here's the rest of the divisional round uh, matchups here. As you see, the Browns at the Chiefs, the 49ers at Seahawks, and the Texans at the Ravens. So it'll be the Detroit Lions versus the Philadelphia Eagles. We'll be on the road, 14 and two versus 15 and one. Can the Lions get a victory and move on to the NFC Championship game? If you like this episode, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. And we'll catch you guys in the divisional round when the Lions take on the Eagles.